welcome to the second episode of this four part series where we travel the Cougar National Park. Last time we've spent time at uh, Sengwetsi Rest Camp and we've now traveled from Sengwetsi all the way to Satara in the middle of the Cougar National Park. Come and enjoy the view, the fauna and flora with us. And on our route here, we had a stair down with the Tusker. Those of you that don't know a Tusker, a Tusker is an elephant that has got tusks all the way down to the ground. This thing literally missed my vehicle with a couple of centimeters. Have a look and enjoy it with us. On route and at Satara, we had some of the most amazing views. It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd But the hearts break loud It is always a good feeling to arrive at a new risk camp In this case, Satara, which is close to Sukuza what a nice campsite this was. It is situated roughly about in the middle of the park and arriving you can see that they have spent a lot of time and effort to cater for their guests. A cattle barn with a nice seating area and a stunning shop fully stocked for all your needs. It's a furthest sun, a gun done for love. It's a pulse and shove. It's the sharpest cry, the hit goes bit wide. Where the desperate lie, far from ever feeling lost with me. I'll push you back towards the land and sea. The ablution facilities was sufficient and okay, but not in pristine condition. Crowd 
as at the other sites, there are communal kitchens fitted with a two plate stove and washer facilities, a boiler and some of them had a microwave. There's nothing really more that you needed. The campsites were well positioned enough shaded trees, large enough and made for overall very good campsite. So let's meet our friend Mr. Tasker. Mr. Tasker had another friend. And on route from Sengweji to Satara, we encountered these two large elephant bulls. The first one stepped off the road and he seems fine. But you will see as we pass him, he showed some aggressiveness towards the vehicle. So with Mr. Tusker in front of us, I decided that I will not pass him. I would just stop next to the road and see what he does. Our predicament is that now we have an elephant bull behind us that already showed some aggression and we have an unknown bull approaching fast. And initially we thought, okay, he stays on the one side of the road, we find he's coming. But after this, you can see he's now approaching us. And we thought we were in for a ride. eyeballing us for some time he decided that we are no threat and the elephant did not show any sign of aggression so he gently moved on along his way For the rest of our trip, we visited the Mbavati picnic site, which is a magnificent spot. And at the Nsmani Dam, we were spoiled with beautiful sunsets. The run down this land, where the ocean lands. It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd. But the hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea They're going down for love and love And as we returned at Satara's camp gate We encountered the sighting of a hyena and the Kruger National Park, like always, is a fabulous place to take photos. It's a fur 
the sun The gun done for love It's a pulse and shove It's the sharpest cry The hit goes bit wide Where the desperate lie Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea It's time for Jeff the Aunt Jeff the Aunt Jeff the Aunt. Okay, so today we're teaching you how to make a simple chicken poiki. I've started my poiki, a little bit of oil. I always throw my pepper in first. I like to get the aroma and everything out of the pepper. A little bit of pepper, then I'm frying two onions and about three or four medium sized carrots, all diced up. I fry that till it's lightly brown and now I've added my chicken and this is what it looks like. At this stage I would add my salt, pepper, um, additional pepper if you want and also my chicken spice to this broth and I'm gonna fry my chicken until they are lightly brown before I add any water to the pot. I don't want to add too much water too quick because I want to create a nice broth that the whole pot can, can brew in. Okay, so if they like it down, about right for me, I'm going to put in a little bit of water at a time and you will see it will almost create like a brown soup at the bottom and that's what I want for my poiki to start with. A little bit of water and I'm going to leave it, let it dry up a bit and I'm going to add a little bit more water to it in a second. So any burn that would have been at the bottom of the pot would now be absorbed in this little bit of liquid that I have at the bottom and as soon as that's done I can add a bit more water to it. You will see I start with adding little bits of water and letting it simmer a bit. That's just about right. I'm gonna cover it for about 10 minutes before I add more water. Right, so the pot's been cooking for about seven, eight minutes. You can see that's what it looks like. You will also see I've got quite a bit of heat underneath this pot because this is a within an hour pot. It is a quick pot to make for kids. So I've got quite a bit of heat initially under the pot. So that's what it looks like after about six or seven minutes. Okay, so eight, nine minutes later, I'm gonna remove the, the lid and I'm gonna put some extra carrots in. You can add whatever you like. What's great in this pot is cauliflower. You can add that in if you have, if you got it in the fridge. You can add in um, any corn that you have. Small or big, cut, cut them up. Kids love it. So that's going to go in now. I'm going to leave this soft stuff for later. Let this cook first and depending on what spices you want, I'm using Inner Palmer's chicken spice. I'm going to add just a little bit of spice to the pot. And at this stage, I can now add more water, quite a bit more water, because my broth has already formed. Now we're going to close it. Penny, 
25 minutes, we should be okay with the potatoes. About 20 minutes later, we're adding the soft stuff. And you can add whatever you have. Cauliflower. Um, and now we're gonna let it simmer a bit longer. Okay, less than an hour total. Come back to your pot, just with the spoon, you touch it and you cut out two, the potatoes and the soft stuff and it's ready. If you now have a lot of liquid and you don't like a lot of liquid in your poiki, then you can spoon off some of this liquid and you can use that to make the sauce. If you like a little bit of liquid, then you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to add it to a little bit of water, or I could have spooned off, off some of those uh, that liquid in the pot. This is going to go into the cup. and into the pot and that's just going to give it a little bit of flavor and stiffen it up a little bit we're going to leave this for five ten minutes is that long and we're not going to stir it a lot, we're just going to make sure that all the liquid gets absorbed into the pot. Another five minutes, we'll see you again. Right, five minutes later, and there you have it. Let's take it off, show you quickly. You would have noticed that I didn't stir the pot too much. So you get all your vegetables and everything still intact and it looks beautiful. Let's look at that. What an awesome, awesome couple of nights we had at Satarari's camp. From here, our plans was to travel all the way down to Bergendal. Unfortunately, my little one fell a little bit ill and we changed our plans. We are going to Pretoria's Rest, where we're going to stay the last couple of night, uh, nights in a bungalow. So, plans hasn't changed in terms of viewing and looking at all the facilities. We'll continue with that in the third episode. Join us in the next episode as we go to Petuias Rus and we will visit Bergendal uh, and, uh, on a day trip. If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing and visit our online Shopify store where you can buy merchandise, you can book your basic and advanced medical courses and even do your skipper's licenses through us. Enjoy the rest of the videos. Bloopers. Can't do. Can you? Yo, one is the boy, yo. You wanna go come in the one is the boy? One is the boy. After the four. Echendal, but unfortunately my little well one fell ill. All the way down from Kunzwet. Uh, In our next video, we will be traveling to Petuia's Cop, searching for the ever elusive cheetah.